Welcome to Expert ACM Supply Chain Knowledge Sharing Session. In this session, we are going to see a term called Time Buckets. Production planning specifies activities for the future. Usually, these activities are described in terms of what to do, example, how many units of certain products to be produced in different time periods into the future. These time periods are called the Time Buckets. The size of the Time Bucket used for particular planning activity indicates the degree of detail detailedness of the planning process. Thus, different sizes of time buckets are likely to be used for planning activity at different levels of company, company's planning hierarchy. For example, a daily or weekly time bucket may be used for material requirement planning or MRP. A weekly or monthly time bucket may be used for master production schedule which is called in brief MPS. A monthly or quarterly time bucket may be used for aggregate production planning or SNOP. The size of the time bucket for a plan can also affect the length of planning horizon which is the number of time period in the plan. So you have to understand the horizon can be different for different planning levels and it can be in quarters or weeks or months or even certain times it could be in days or in shift when it goes to the operational levels. Lean and JIT companies always prefer day wise uh, time bucket because that's what has been planned in this kind of an environment. Thanks for watching. Bye.